love the answer. Ah! It was like he literally knows where like the murder like cave is. He's going to die regardless. So let's just hurry it up already. Holy is literally going around killing everyone. You have to live with the guilt of killing me. I promise I won't tell anyone if you let me go. This is so scary. Wait, why did I bring a weapon with me? Well, no turning back now. Hey guys, it's Gabriella, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pretend. We are on the second to last episode, so if you have not seen the other episodes in the series, click the I right up there, or it's down below in the description, the full playlist. You can watch those and then come back. But if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I post awesome videos all throughout the week, and we are also just one big, amazing family, and I'd love for you to be a part of it. So make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I am not ready for this episode. I literally, I'm like, oh, I'm so freaked out. I don't know what's gonna happen. I literally just wanna cry. I'm not sure if Gabrielle's gonna die, if she's gonna like live, if anyone's gonna get to her in time. I'm just like so concerned. <laughs> Let's play pretend. Ah! <laughs> this game is like so stressful. Episode nine. Oh, my heart. It's a pounds, my little heart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As Janice and Robert led me back to the room with coffins, I began to lose hope. I couldn't see any way out of this. There was no one around to call for help. The cops in this town were all fake. Maybe it was time to accept my fate. I would end up as another victim of Robert and Janice's sick crimes. <laughs> it's not too late to change your mind, Gabriella. I considered agreeing to Janice's offer, but was it better to be alive as a slave? Yes, because then you can escape later! Or die and be free. Okay, don't be so dramatic. Literally, like, attack them. Do something. I'm not changing my mind, but maybe you should be the one to change your mind. Maybe you should reconsider killing me just because I refuse to be your slave. Maybe you should realize that you're mentally unstable and need help, and you could have learned to get over the death of your daughter. But you couldn't and you didn't. And now I'm paying the price? I'm sure karma will bite you in the butt one day. Would you rather have a painful death instead? Because I'm doing you a favor because I care about you. I wouldn't consider murder to be a favor. Enough of this. It's time to dispose of you. Prepare the vaccine, Robert. <laughs> like they're actually crazy. Like not just like, oh my gosh, my parents are like so crazy. Like they're actually mentally unstable. <gasps> There are real cops in this house? I have to warn Robert and Janus right away! Oh, Charlotte, you're so annoying! Oh my gosh! Ah! Who is that? We want the answer! Ah! This is someone just killed Charlie! What the heck is going on? Why is there so much of murder all of a sudden? Did you just hear that gunshot? Yeah, I wonder where it came from. We have to hurry. Better have my gun out just in case. Wow, you're a really great FBI agent, Isaac. You're not gonna investigate the gunshot? Come on, this way. It was like he literally knows where like the murder like cave is. What are we doing in the library? You'll see. Just follow me. So literally, Jason knows that they've been killing people and like has done nothing about it. What the heck? Oh my god. What the heck is this? There's a staircase leading down into the basement. This better not be a trap. It's not, I swear. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what happened to Officer whoever? Abby? Oh, there's Abby. I wonder what that gunshot was. And now it sounds like there are voices coming from another room. Literally, like, they're all so casual about the fact that they just heard a gunshot. Like, they're just like... Hmm, was it like a gunshot? Like, probably doesn't mean anything. Like, what? What is this? Oh my gosh! They're like tying me up? What is happening? What is taking so long, Robert? I'm trying to find the right vein to inject the poison into. <laughs> but her veins are hard to see. It doesn't matter how accurate you are. She's going to die regardless. So let's just hurry it up already. Relax, Janice. I'm trying my best. We'll try harder. Useless husband. Excuse me? Would you like to take over? I 
am the one doing everything you ask. I do the dirty work. I get the hard job done that you wouldn't be able to do yourself. So who's really the useless one? Don't start with me, Robert. Just remember that I am the brains behind this whole operation. You'd still be a nobody if I never came into your life. Maybe I should try to use their arguing to my advantage. I might be able to earn myself a bit more time. What should I say? Side with Janice, side with Robert. Um, maybe like Robert since like he's the one with like the thing that's gonna kill me. Robert is right, Janice. You're nothing but a tyrant and a weakling. You just give orders without helping anyone. I'm the strongest person in this room. I'm perfectly capable of handling things myself. I don't need Robert for anything. You wouldn't know what to do without me and you know it. Wait, do you hear something? <laughs> is that a real police officer or the fake police officer? I think this is the fake one. Who oh, is literally going around killing everyone? <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, stop it! Oh my gosh. That sounds like a gut shot. We could have an intruder. We need to hurry. I watched as Robert pulled out a syringe filled with some type of liquid. This was it. I was going to die. Literally like fight, Gabriella. Punch her in the face. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Another gut shot! <laughs> Are you calling for backup? Do something! We have a situation here. There have been multiple gunshots and possibly a wounded victim. I need backup ASAP. That's literally the call you should have made the first gunshot you heard. Hold still, Gabriella. This will be over before you know it. <laughs> That's okay! Do something! Someone! What on earth is going on in this place? Life, try to reason with them. Um, I guess let, maybe let's try to reason with them. You don't have to do this. You'll have to live with the guilt of killing me. I promise I won't tell anyone if you let me go. Spare me your sob story. We're going through with this. Nothing you say will convince me otherwise. FBI, stop what you're doing. Put your hands where I can see them. Ah, I'm saved. I second Jason. Oh my gosh, why does Robert have a gun? Oh my gosh! I'll die before I go to prison! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too much! <gasps> what in the world is happening? I watched in horror as a bullet pierced through Robert's left arm. His blood began to soak through his jacket. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then another one hit his right leg. Oh my god, Isaac, okay! investigate the disappearance of a teenage girl. Well, you're a little late to the party, detective. There's a deranged woman on the loose. Finding and apprehending her is your top priority. And who exactly are you? I'm with the FBI. Enough talking, we have to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Will Janet's get away? Is Robert dead? Like what? Like, aren't they gonna apprehend him? Help. Like, put him in handcuffs, he's gonna escape! <gasps> okay, great, Ethan's dead too. Or Charlie. Charlie! I'll make them pay for this, Charlie! I swear! Who was the person upstairs killing everyone? Like, again, why is there so much killing all of a sudden? <laughs> Ethan? I mean, Charlie? Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Charlie. You didn't deserve this. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe he's dead. I mean, like, he didn't deserve to die, but definitely go to jail if he knew that I was, like, being, like, held captive, and that's what Janice and Robert were doing. They all deserve to go to jail. Where is the guard? <laughs> I love how the rain, it's raining. It makes it so dramatic. Wait, are we gonna see Veronica again? Like, what is, what was that Veronica thing? I can't let Janice get away. If she's smart enough to hide from the police all of these years, she could hide from them again. And then history will repeat itself. <laughs> she's good at covering her tracks. This is so scary. Ew, well, why was her shoulder like sticking out like that? <laughs> the 
blue lights in the cabin are on again. I'll bet Janice is in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is happening? Wait, why didn't I bring a weapon with me? Well, no turning back now. How should I go about it? Enter the cabin quietly, enter the cabin quickly, enter the cabin normally. I guess quietly? Is she in here? You again? You can't be real! Ah! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm real. I mean, you're supposed to be dead! So you already know who I am. Well, let me introduce myself anyways. My name is Veronica, and I'm Robert and Janice's biological daughter. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, the air conditioning just turned on, but it sounded like the door was opening and I'm the only one up here, and oh my god, I just had a heart attack. On top of the fact that, <laughs> that Veronica is actually alive and not a hallucination, and I don't know what is happening. I'm so freaked out. Okay, guys. <laughs> that is the end of today's episode. Oh my god, I just literally... Oh my god, that was so scary. Okay. Oh, okay, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And there's some awesome videos for you to check out on the screen. Keep yourself entertained until then. And I will see you guys later when we figure out all of our answers. Because the next episode is the last episode. So, oh, what is happening?